Hello guys, today I want to present you some tricks around PHP Storm. Tips and tricks, but this time not from myself, but from my friend Christoph Rumpel, who compiled 38 PHP Storm tips and tricks. Some of them I've learned from him in this list. So in this video, I will show you five of them. And disclaimer, I'm not affiliated here. I don't get paid for that. Christoph doesn't even know that I'm shooting this video. I just found this resource and wanted to share with you. And later in this video, I will tell you how you can find out even more about PHP Storm and what Christoph does behind the scenes. So tip number one. Did you know that PHP Storm has a button called Run Anything, which includes that you can run artisan command without terminal or without launching anything? There's a small icon here in the top right, or you can call that by Control Control on my MacBook, and then you just type command, which can be artisan, for example, and then artisan, what do you want to run? For example, let's run artisan cache clear. It auto completes the thing, so we hit enter and our cache clear is run at the bottom in the terminal of PHP Storm. With that run anything, let's click an icon again. You can run npm commands, yarn commands, basically everything that is configured within PHP Storm or within your web server. I haven't configured anything specifically, so that comes by default with PHP Storm on Laravel projects. This is kind of convenient, but probably I won't use it in my videos because the font here is really small and I would prefer to run terminal where I can zoom it in for you in these videos. Tip number two is executing PHP Storm actions. If you click shift shift, it means search anywhere. And one of that anywhere is actions, which mean any action of PHP Storm itself. So some kind of command where you may have forgotten the shortcut or the button, how to call that. So for example, let's do that again. I want to find the usages of that function in all of my project, but I don't remember the shortcut for find usages or where is that in the menu, I don't know. So I click shift shift and go find usages. All right, it is this combination or I just click enter here and it is executed. So actions, you can type the action in your own words in text. So you can, for example, shift shift. And then I don't remember the combination, how to get back to previous navigation point. So I do just back. Where's that back? Oh, okay. Navigate back is this command, this shortcut. So I will remember that in the future. So basically you can ask PHP storm in your own words to do something if it's within PHP storm commands. Tip number three is mostly related to HTML or Blade, but any project has HTML. So wouldn't it be cool that we can just start typing some tag, HTML tag, and it would be auto completed on the other side of our text. Luckily, we can do it with highlighting the text and then the same thing. We will just use the tip two, shift, shift, action, and action is called surround with, or this shortcut, you can call it surround with, and then you choose what to surround with. And one of the option is tag. And you just type in a or div or whatever you want. So basically, if you have some HTML and you want to surround it with some tag or with some template or whatever, you can do that in PHP Storm with a action called surround with. My next tip is about installing composer packages where you don't actually remember exactly how the package is called or which version to use. So if you do it via terminal, you don't have any autocomplete, you just do composer require something, but PHP Storm can help you with that. Instead of doing composer require, you can do open composer JSON and then do comma and then start typing the package name or vendor. For example, I don't remember exactly how Laravel debug bar is called, but I do remember the author Barry, but Barry who, I don't remember Barry nickname or surname, for example, and I start typing Barry. Okay, it's Barry VDH. I think it stands for Van den Heuvel from what I remember his surname and Laravel debug bar is the first on the list. So I just, hit enter and also it suggests the versions. Probably dev version is too early, so we choose this version and we're done. And then we just need to run composer update, but the package itself is in composer JSON, so that's how PHP Storm can help you autocomplete the package that you don't remember the name exactly. 
And final tip number five, how to open the file in split mode. So in half of the screen, it's really easy. If you click shift shift, you can search for anything. And for example, I want to open some controller. And the only difference is that you open not with hitting enter, but shift enter. And look what happens. Shift enter opens it in the split screen on the right. So you don't need to change any mode or menu item or anything. If you want to quickly compare or reference the file looking at the current file, shift enter is the way to go. So these are five tips, just five tips out of 38 compiled here by Christoph. It is free. The link will be in the description below. I will link that. And that is only a fraction what Christoph teaches. So this banner leads to a special course called Mastering PHP Storm, also by Christoph. Again, I'm not affiliated here. I don't get paid for this. But what Christoph did here is pretty spectacular. And if you work with PHP Storm daily, it's a no brainer investment. And if we search for table of contents here, here's what's inside of that course. The price of the course, let me find it. Yep, this one, 79 euros. It may be a lot for some countries or for some of you, but 79 euros, if you work with PHP Storm daily, it will pay off pretty quickly by saving you the time of using the tool more effectively and more quickly. And also you can follow Christoph on social media. I really like what he's doing as a creator in general. So you can follow him at Christoph Rumpel, his blog with stories about his live streaming, about his coding. He's basically a one-man band shooting the courses now. He released a few ebooks and courses. Before that, he was doing client work as a freelancer. So he's talking about my company of one on his blog and also on his podcast. If you are into podcasts, I encourage you to follow a podcast called Call It A Day by Christoph, where he also talked about mastering PHP Storm, the creation part. So if you want to create your own course or your own product or something like that, Christoph has quite a lot of tips around creating a product or live screencasts, for example, or just shooting the videos and stuff around general business like business struggles. If you are a freelancer and want to create your own business of some kind, I do suggest to follow Christoph here and also on Twitter somewhere. There should be a link to his Twitter Yep, here. He's pretty active on Twitter and this is the photo from his stage probably at some Laracon. He was an active and still is active conference speaker with around 10,000 followers on Twitter. So genuinely suggesting to follow him and that's it for this video. Subscribe to my channel to get daily tips, not on PHP Storm only, on Laravel and related topics. And see you guys in other videos.